Okay, here is a quick mini review slash update after about two months of using the cheap uh, $79, everybody's special off of eBay, Amazon, whatever, Chinese saw. So supposedly some people say this is a clone of the steel um, chainsaw, but I'm just going to let you know the problems I've had. Overall, I'm, I'm happy with it for the price. I got it for about $79. Bucks. Um, and here are some of the things that just pretty much the first things that broke uh let's see as you can see here like the uh chain break was kind of heating up which caused some of this to happen um it melted the plastic and of course look at the little cheap sticker that just came off instantly pretty much um the uh adjuster right there for the chain to tighten the chain uh this actually if you notice there's like a uh, washer here I actually put that I had to modify it because this actually ate through the cheap plastic this plastic is like really kind of thin as you can tell it's not really the right quality for something like this it went through the little plastic and actually made it to the uh, like this what's the clutch here so the screw itself was eating on there so I had to remove the cover take the screw out uh, cut off a piece of the screw that was bad added this washer on it and now it can never unless it eats through this, which I doubt, make it through to get back here again. Um, the muffler, one day I was using cutting down a tree and I just heard it loud, just as loud as it can be. The muffler just literally fell out. So what happened was uh, these screws that originally were here worked this way out and these two bolts also worked this way out and the muffler just dropped. So I just basically had some of these little bolts and repositioned them with the bolts back and replaced these screws, put some um, thread lock on there, which probably should all have been done in the factory, right? But you know, which you get what you pay for, right? I don't mind. Uh, what else broke? Uh, oh, the handle. As you can see, this little bin, I never dropped it or anything. That's just from use, probably like pushing it down against the trees and stuff like that to get some cuts or whatever. And it's so weak, uh, it just bent like that, that little aluminum. Um, the chain pull, the pull, as you can see, this happened like within like the first couple of pulls. It just ate through there. The little grommet that sits in there doesn't really work. Um, so it just came off. I really don't care, it still works fine. Um, yeah, also one of the most common is the uh, little gasket that goes around the gas cap is leaking, which happens to everybody pretty much. Uh, this one leaks a little bit, not as much. Uh, the last thing I uh, changed the chain in the bar out to a uh, 20 inch model instead of the 22 that it came with because um, I just found problems locally and online getting the actual 22 inch uh, chain and bar replacement. So I just went ahead and swapped them out. Um, and I still have the 22, and I actually ordered the 22 inch chain from China. So I've got that and I can swap it out whenever I like. So I've got a couple of the 20 inch, uh, I got a 20 inch bar and 22 inch chain, uh, a couple of those, 20 rather, and the extra. But that's about it. I still recommend it if you don't mind those little details. You know, get something cheap, but it is what it is. That's my little quick review update on it.